Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of our tutorial series on web application with Oracle. In the previous episode, we have created master detail page to display categories as well as product on a single page where products were displayed based on categories selected. And in this episode, we will add validation using triggers where we will check whether the manufacture date is earlier than expiry date or not and if the expiry date is earlier than manufacture date then we will uh, raise and custom error message so without further ado let's move to our tutorial so first of all you will need to log into oracle apex and here we will write and script uh, to check whether the expiry date is later than manufacture date or not but uh, before writing the actual query i need to show the show you the bug or flaw so let's go to our app builder and let's select our app which is online store and let's run our application and let's give our username and password and username and password as are our apex uh, username and password which is gmail.com and password is something nice and enter and we will log into our application this was our app and let's go to our products and we will be adding validation while adding product so products and let's create a new product and i will show you what we will be dealing with so let's select one category for now i'll select uh, drinks and let's give the product title coca-cola coca-cola uh, drinks for summer and let's give the rate as 40 rupees quantity let's say 100 and let's say manufacture date uh, manufacture date is on uh, April 28th and let's give the expiry date as uh, April 1st so is it uh, correct uh, to give expiry date earlier than manufacture date I don't think so um, expiry date is always uh, three months or six months or one year after manufacture date so whenever we try to add expiry date earlier than manufacture date then we should get an error and product should not be added but if i click on create button product is successfully created now so we will have to check this thing before inserting or updating the product and raise an error if the expiry date is earlier than manufacture date so let's go to our apex dashboard and here we will create a trigger to check that and raise an error if expiry date is earlier than manufacture date so let's go to xql workshop and inside our xql workshop we will be creating sql script so i'll go to sql script so that we can save the script and we can use it later as well so let's give it as uh, trz for trigger and trigger underscore let's give the name or let's give the simple name trigger to check exp and mfg date trigger to check expired date and mfg date here i'll write a comment so to write the comment in oracle we get two minus sign or two hyphen and then we can write the comment so i'll write it as raise custom custom error if expiry date is earlier than manufacture date so here we will create a trigger to check that and raise an error so let's create a trigger create or uh, replace trigger and we will give a name which is trigger underscore check short form for check is chk for me trigger underscore check exp underscore mfg date you can give any name you like and then we want to check uh, before insert and update so before insert or update on 
we will give the table name which is tbl underscore product and then for each row begin here we will write condition so which is if new dot mfg underscore date is greater is greater than new dot exp underscore date so our uh, table column name for manufacturer date is mfg underscore date and expired date is exp underscore date let's check it we can check it i will open the link in new tab and let's check the column name i am little bit confused so i want to check it so let's go to update browser and let's select rtbl product uh, yes we have mfg date and expiry date which is exp underscore date so this is right if new dot mfg date is greater than new dot expiry date then it means if manufacture date is later than expiry date then we will raise error so raise underscore application underscore error and here we need to give, uh, give uh, custom error code which is minus two zero one 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 and then we will write error message and then here we will write uh, error message inside single quotes and error message will be sorry expiry date cannot be earlier than manufacture manufacture date that's it and then here we need to give uh, semicolon at the end and then we will end if so end if semicolon and at the last end so that's it so this is the trigger which will check whether the expiry date is earlier than manufacture date or not and if the expiry date is earlier than manufacture date then it will raise an error and the error message is sorry expiry date cannot be earlier than manufacture date and it will not add the product so that's it let's save it and run it and check whether this trigger will validate our insert and update functionality or not so i'll just click on the create button to create it so it will be creating so here it is our trigger is created and let's run it i'll click on this run icon and let's click on run now so here we have one statement processed and one successfully executed so we have successfully created trigger uh, to check or to validate whether the expiry date is earlier or later than manufacture date or not and raise the error so let's check the functionality so i'll close it and run the application again so let's go to app builder and run our application so our application is online store and let's run application so here is our application let's go to products so let's add new product and let's check whether our trigger works or not so i'll just create so click on create button and let's select one category for now i'll select electronics and let's uh, add a product title as uh, new motorola phone because i have heard that motorola has launched a new phone so let's give this detail at this is awesome and let's give its rate as 80 thousand and quantity is two i don't know exact rate for this phone i just gave it so let's give manufacture date as april and 15th and let's give its expiry date as uh, april 2nd so expiry date is earlier than manufacture date and it should not happen but sometimes humans make error and we are checking this error and if our trigger is working perfectly then it should raise an error so let's click on create button and let's check it so manufacture date april 15 expiry date 2nd april let's click on create and successfully it has raised an error message 
ORR201111 and error message is sorry expired date cannot be earlier than manufacture date. So we have successfully added validation on checking expired date and manufacture date. So let's uh, change the expired date. Let's change the expired date to May 2nd and let's click on create button and it is successfully adding. So we have added on insert functionality. Let's check it on update. So I'll go to update one of this. This is Samsung TV. And here the manufacture date is January 10. Or first of, I was it 10? 10 is which month is 10? Let's check it. So October 2019. So let's give the expiry date as September and let's check it whether it works on update or not. So it will be. Let's give September, September 2019. Oops, I missed the date. So September 25th, September 2019. So expiry date is earlier than manufacture date. And let's click apply changes. And it also displays an error. So our trigger successfully uh, checks uh, the expiry date and manufacture date while adding the product as well as updating the product and displays an error message whenever we try to add expiry date earlier than manufacture date. So this is it guys, we have successfully added the functionality to validate our insert and update form. You can also add other validation using triggers like checking the rate and quantity where a uh, product cannot be added with quantity uh, zero quantity or zero rate. You can add uh, those validations. It is really simple. You will just have to check quantity or rate and raise the error if the quantity or rate is less than one. So that's it. In the next episode, uh, we will add trigger uh, to record uh, the activity or users in our Oracle application and it will act as an extra security feature in our application. So thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you have any confusion related to this video, then don't forget to comment. I'll reply as soon as possible. So see you on next episode. Till then, see you soon. Bye-bye.